In this video, I'm going to show us how to uh, use the dimension tool. The uh, dimension tool shows you the dimension of the part you have selected. So coming over here, uh, the first thing is it is in the tape measure tool assortment. It is the second one down. Once you select it, uh, to use the tool, there's a couple different ways. One way is by selecting an endpoint, followed with another endpoint, and then dragging and then clicking one more time off to the side. Another way is by going endpoint to endpoint. Once again, do the same thing, dragging up the side, changes the dimension, or where the dimension comes from, just kind of moving that around. Give you the inch and ones, or one inch and seven sixteenths on top here. Uh, another way is just by coming in and selecting an edge or a surface. We don't need this dimension over here. I was just pulling that out to show you. We need this dimension from our endpoint. Endpoint there, moving that over. And I just moved it around to get it to change from one dimension to another dimension. We also need our endpoint here to the midpoint of the circle which came down, but I just hover over the outside of the circle, which activates the midpoint to click, and then once again, just click and move that down. Do the same thing for the other dimension to that circle. And then for the outside, click the diameter, the circumference of the circle, and then drag it out and then do a right click over top and you can do type radius over here we have this information half inch followed by this which is an eighth of an inch it's really hard to see and then point to point moving over the half inch. Now we need all the parts for this circle. So that was coming in here, hovering over the outside of the circle, selecting the midpoint, moving to the right, and then lastly, same thing here, moving straight down though. And actually, I have one more dimension with that circle, the radius of the circle. Change it from diameter, right click, edit text, wrong, type, radius. Lastly, from point to point for a bottom. And then the last little feature I added, the eighth of an inch. So selecting, selecting, moving that out by the three eighth inch internal hole that has an end point that starts at. Two and a half in. I actually going to move that to the top. Just so it's a little cleaner looking. And then also two from the bottom. And that's everything I need. Thanks for watching this video. Dimension your part.